moja kwa moja tunaelekea Arambe House hapa Nairobi ambapo waziri Profesa Margaret Kobia anazungumza kumbuka wanazindua mpango wa kuwatumia fedha wale wote walioathirika na kiangazi katika kaunti 23 nchini. Tumsikize. Stock of take water tracking digging and repair of boreholes to caution and improve the livelihood of over 2.5 million Kenyans affected by the drought in 23 Asal counties. In the month of October and November, the government has distributed about 90,000 bags of rice and 49,000 bags of beans and purchased around 8,000 hands of cattle for farmers for the ongoing commercial livestock of tick. In the current outlook from National Drought and Management Authority and the Kenya Meteorological Department indicate that the drought situation is expected to persist and the rainfall will be depressed. Yesterday, the Cabinet Secretary of Defense and the Cabinet Secretary of Public Service witnessed the signing of a project agreement between the Kenya Meat Commission and the Kenya Red Cross Society for implementation of the Grout Slaughter Program. The program targets the 23 ASAL counties and it entails purchase and slaughter of about 76,000 livestock considered either week for, and then for distribution as relief food to over about 766,000 households. The Kenya Red Cross Society, using its structures and a network of community-based volunteers, will assist in registration of targeted families and the timely payment of farmers and distribution of the leaf meat. The program is expected to increase the purchasing power of the household of these communities and reduce the resource-based conflict in affected counties. I'm also pleased to announce the implementation of a policy shift of food distribution to cash transfer. So I'm pleased to announce that we have this morning launched an emergency relief cash transfer program in fulfillment of the government commitment to shift from food distribution to cash transfer. The cash transfer will be distributed through Safaricom M-Pesa platform to the identified and registered beneficiaries of 23 arid and semi-arid lands counties. The identification and the registration of the affected persons was spearheaded by the county steering groups and the leadership of the county commissioners, the relief committees, and the Red Cross Society. The identification and the criteria used indicated that households that have elderly persons, households with sick and severely disabled persons, malnourished children, single parents or child-headed households, and at the same time, those households are not receiving any other form of support or assistance, either from government or other organizations. The first cohort of 366 households identified for the emergency relief cash transfer program will each receive today and the rest of this week Kenya shillings 3,000 totaling to the payroll amount of 1.082, that is 1 billion, 82 million and 88 shillings from today and the remaining of the week on a monthly basis until the rain situation improves. Car transfers have proved as the most effective way to reach vulnerable persons in times of emergency. The benefits include rece receiving the assistance in real time, value for money, and the beneficiary has a choice of what they want to purchase 
It also safeguards the dignity of the beneficiary and also stimulates economic growth in the local context. In conclusion, I wish to commend the FARICOM for waiving the transition fees for this first cohort of their and their commitment to ensure the system will be efficient uh, so long as we continue use, utilizing it as a government. I also wish to appreciate the implementing ministries and agencies, including the National Treasury, the Ministry of Interior and National Coordination, Ministry of Defense, Ministry of ICT, Ministry of Water and Sanitation, and Minister of Agriculture, and also including all other sagas. And I also remember to include Kenya Rand Cross for continuing to work with the government in disaster management and especially humanitarian uh, effort. Yeah, additionally, I thank our partners, including the UN agencies, the World Food Program, and other agencies for supporting government to deliver on its commitment and on all our elected leaders, some of them present here, who come from pastoralist parliamentary group, for your continued support in collaboration in this uh, direction. Allow me now to call the member of parliament, Honorable Kenan, to come and give his comment uh, in agreement with the, the new effort. You have. Naam, ni taarifa ambayo inakuja moja kwa moja kutoka jumba la Harambea hapa Nairobi amekuwa ni waziri wa mipango maalum jinsia na vijana Profesa Margaret Kobe akizungumza baada ya kuzinduliwa mpango wa kuwatumia fedha jamii ama wa Kenya walioathirika na kiangazi ikitarajiwa kwamba kila mkenya atakuwa anapokezwa takriban shilingi 3000 kupitia simu 